Hello, hello. This is Sebastian Maya Paz from Tucson, Arizona, United States, and you are in your uh, channel, Geology Life and Healing. This time we're going to talk about um, pie characteristics of gold deposits of the Carlin Trend. These videos are dedicated for the students who are studying at the university, geology, or related fields, or students who are the fairest. They are looking for the first job in the porphyry copper deposits. And this is a request from uh, members of the um, channel. So, so they want me to develop a little bit about uh, carbon type deposits. And disclaimer. All the words and everything that uh, I'm using is my definitions of, based on my experience and the purpose is to educate people to know a little bit more about uh, carbon type deposits and anything confidential and private information that I worked for the companies before or the companies they're working now is going to be protected. In order to talk about uh, carlin type deposits, we need to find the location of Carlin. Carlin is a town in uh, Nevada, and uh, let's put a uh, search in uh, Google Earth, and uh, we're going to see where is located Carlin. So this is this is the town, and this is the uh, I-80 going to my right. We're going to Salt Lake City, and the other side uh, to my left, we are going to um, California. And I'm going to the northwest. We are going to see the uh, one of the uh, pits, a uh, big one. Let's see if I, I can measure 1.4 miles. There are other smaller pits, but I, I just want to focus on the uh, uh, big ones. Uh, there is one in there, but uh, let me see if I can join two pits in here, one in there, another. And there may be something over there, uh, almost one mile. There, and so there, there's another over there. So there are other pits, you know, one big one in here, another uh, pit, uh, probably something like uh, this in here. Something, it's 1.3 uh, miles. And uh, this is uh, one of the biggest two. Let's see if I can measure. Okay, something over there, and this is uh, almost two miles. So there are other pits uh, here, another there. Oh, if I can measure, yeah, uh, you know, there's another pit, and uh, the north, uh, the far northwest pit, I'll put it in there. If I can. It's a uh, 1.2 uh, miles. So, you know, we if we make a line from the farthest uh, northwest to, if I can, to the first pit that we were over here, it's a uh, 27, 28 miles long. That's the uh, Carlin uh, Trend uh, Deposit Base, the closest town, Carlin Town. And um, one overview, it's uh, uh, according to a report in 2002, there were 120 uh, million ounces of gold, including ounces mined and ounces mined. But I saw there is another report in 2020 that uh, they are putting 250 million ounces. So I, I'm thinking that they include all, also the Cortez Bell. So, or the Cortez trend. So that's a, another video that I, I, I'll include it. So it's a, a total will be 250 uh, million ounces. So the uh, first characteristic of uh, uh, the gold values are measured in ounces per ton. Minimum um, value uh, for gold to be considered uh, an area to be mined is uh, 0.1 ounces. And uh, the greatest uh, uh, grade that I saw, it was uh, 13 ounces per ton. Uh, number two, uh, exceptional lithology. It's a Silurian, Devonian, Limestone, and Dolomites, and uh, with a thickness up to 2,200 feet. So a thick bedded. And uh, third characteristic, min uh, mineralization and structures. 
anticline axis, tectonic and hydrothermal breccia, normal and reverse faults. And uh, there is a one main regional uh, trust fault, Robert Mantis Trust. It well, almost goes to the whole state of Nevada. Number four, the main um, alteration associated with gold mineralization is uh, the calcification in two ways uh, due to silicification of the limestone and dolomite and uh, argillization of the limestone or silty limestone. And sometimes there are places that not much decalcified, but is, uh, there is still a presence of gold. So gold it is where gold it is, kind of uh, like that. Number five, the last one, the main uh, mineral associated with gold mineralization is arsenopyrite. And the size of gold mineralization is 28 uh, microns. So in order to have a context, it's a, a, the a diameter of uh, one hair, it's um, 50 microns. So this is a little bit half of the uh, diameter of the hair. One more thing, this is a gift for the people who are interested in to know more about it. And this is the reference. And if you want to go on, know more details, more information, if you have a project, if you need some help or other things that I cannot uh, share, you know, as a public uh, domain information. So send me an email. So I'll help you whatever uh, you have or some questions that I can help with. Okay. Thank you very much.